All right, hey there, Prox Gaming Crew, and this is Prox Vi here, and welcome back to the Yokai Watch for the last play. And if you didn't miss out during the last one, well, it seems like we are all now done with the bizarre cases at this point within our time of chapter eight. I don't know if there's still going to be more floating bizarre cases that are going to be happening within our time of this chapter, but we'll have to see what happens. But hey, at least we went to go and talk it over here to Sly because we're going to get ourselves an extra Cranky Kai coin if we ever do need to go and use that for any type of other Cranky Kai machine that we go and meet up with. Unfortunately, that Cranky Kai coin we can't really get ourselves with Shogun gunyon but hopefully if we can all find ourselves with maybe another one star coin or even a five star coin or something around over here we can potentially go and use that for shogun yon and uh, try to get our uh, next attempt going on from there but now we have to go and reach on over into where the youth park is going to be because that's where theo the uh, human character of uh, sunatoji is going to be at and i know that during the last episode if you guys haven't seen it so far uh i believe theo just went and talked to uh, summer and it seems like uh, theo has probably found out who the actual princess is going to be and it seems here within this episode we are going to be actually going and seeing that Oni princess finally decide to make her appearance that's going to happen here and uh, not only that but we actually get to go and use the actual Oni princess within the actual battle and I have to say that that uh, that princess is a most powerful type of yokai or type of yokai form that we have literally seen out here so far and it absolutely destroys uh, Suintonji within uh, this whole entire battle because this is just the beginning part that's going to happen because we've already seen Suntonji in this battle type of phase quite a bit often throughout here. I think we at least seen him throughout maybe like two or three different times uh, within our way of just having to go and do the battle. So I will be editing out on most of the stuff that's going to happen here. You guys will see a little bit of the battle that's going to happen, but later on we will be uh, kind of cutting some things down here and uh, you guys will be seeing a little bit of a segment that's going to happen where uh, I believe uh, Summer's brother is actually going to be showing up within the way. Uh, that's how... Uh, that's how uh, Summer will actually go and call up on that uh, on that princess uh, for what is going to happen around here. But, uh, but yeah, it seems like so far, like, uh, just having all the, uh, well, all of our yokai out here for right now actually does quite a bit of damage to Su and Tonji. Again, not that hard of a difficult battle as it is, but I know that we kind of lost a little bit of yokai within the process of that, though. But we should still be fine for, uh, for when the next uh, part actually happens here. Now, within these two videos for today, not only are we going to be doing our time out here with Yokai Watch 4, but of course, we're also going to be going and jumping on into some more of Akami HD. We're almost about to get ourselves even finished out here within the actual game. We don't really have too much of the Waku Shrine that needs to go on, but we will be going and tackling out, hopefully, uh, later on throughout within Okami HD is the battle against with the enemy, the actual final boss of Okami HD. Uh, we'll get into some more details about what's going to happen around there, but uh, I'll let you guys enjoy the, uh, the voice acting here for a little bit. But yep, there it is. There's the princess. There's the only princess that's going to finally be here after all this time. It was kind of a dormant, I wanted to say, for like almost the past few chapters. We never really got to see the actual part of it even happening around over in this web. But I have to say, the design for uh, for like what, uh, what this uh, princess is all about looks actually really cool. But uh, she does have some pretty epic uh, good type of stuff uh, for her attacks though. She has like some sort of like laser beam attack that we'll be seeing. And then I think she also has like another attack as well too. Which I believe uh, can actually uh, be almost like the same type of attacking style as what Suntoji has. Which that actually like does a lot of damage there. Now, even though that you guys do see that we're all sitting at like one HP for right now as it is, I believe you can actually go and heal up a little bit uh, within summer uh, to actually uh, kind of regain a little bit of some stuff back. But I don't think he actually really does do a lot of uh, damage to you as well. So it seems like you don't really hardly ever need to go and really do too much amount of stuff of like literally wasting up on some of your different healing items, even though that that like hardly Suatoji just doesn't do like any type of damage at all whatsoever to us. Probably very little, but like it's not even like going on at all whatsoever so yeah we got ourselves with pitch black which i believe that's the move that we were already kind of using at that point already but only flash is the one where i believe it actually just does and uh goes out of the way with using that laser beam attack but it's just like 85 damage every time so it's like crazy now that pitch black move i think actually does a little bit more than that so yeah just like 97 damage it actually takes like a whole chunk off of that uh suda toji damage right there but yeah, so Suatoji is basically saying, like, you're still very, very strong. And yeah, that is crazy. 
Yeah, apparently it seems like Vodera actually wants to go and show up into this battle as well too, but unless if he wants to get himself destroyed as well with this princess form, I don't think uh, it's going to be any type of match for uh, both these two guys at all. But yeah, even though that we are getting like, uh, like hit around and everything, we're still okay and we're still doing alright within this battle. And I think majority of this episode is just going to be with a lot of dialogue, nothing really too uh, going on uh, within our way out here. But there we go, so it seems like we got ourselves with the victory I guess with that. Now I think we also get some, a little bit of some EXP for everybody as well too. So at least uh, with Katie, that's like our only one other type of level up. But we got ourselves with some extra more of those EXP large uh, type of stuff that we got there. Still haven't really went and used any of our EXP uh, type of stuff though. We'll have to go and use that maybe uh, at some point for another one of our yokais if we were to need. Yeah, so uh, seems like uh, with Summer's form there, doesn't want to go and try to disturb any of what Summer's family is going on here with the uh, yokai form there. Hmm. Well, at least it made its appearance. But it seems like it just would have just disappeared. But it seems like Summer still has, like, her type of memory that's still within uh, everything that's going on. It's just that, like, I guess uh, she hasn't really been able to control the, the, the princess form back and forth between each other. But, yeah, so it seems like we'll also have to go and kind of tell that to uh, all of our friends as well back over at the detective agency, right? They're going to probably be freaking out because... Uh, because we don't really know exactly what's going on uh, within this whole princess thing. So now we're learning about someone else named Juno? Don't really know about that guy either. Hmm. Well, apparently it seems like uh, Theo wants to go and take us back to, uh, to the yokai world, but that's not going to happen. Because Summer still wants to go and stay here in the overworld. Because she doesn't want to become any part of it at all. <laughs> she still got the same type of memory. But at least we know that that this princess form is going to be the thing that wants to go and destroy that overseer. Because we're still learning more information about that guy. We haven't just seen it up in person yet, but we just only know about just the just the, just the talks about him at this point now. You guys already kind of seen a little bit about what the Overseer looks like in one of the thumbnails, but not here in the actual game just yet. No, so I was gonna go and try to protect uh, Summer, but <laughs> again, the, but again, like Slice just a, it's just an absolute coward. We already kind of know about that so far. Now, I think later on throughout here, I guess we have to go and talk to Bruno's grandmother about something that happens. So, I think we'll be kind of holding that off until the next episode there. <laughs> yeah, and I know that uh, that uh, Nate was saying something about like, Oh, well, that makes me the king now? And then all of a sudden, uh, Theo just went and just said, No, I don't think that's uh, going to happen. So, I don't know exactly what what what's happening uh, with all that other uh, situation there. Sacred Armory? Hmm. Shinoma Yokai. Don't really know too much about with that either as well, but we only got ourselves just only just a few more uh, seconds to go here. And uh, the one thing that is really strange about uh, from all that text dialogue that was just going on from Lord Antona is that he just went and talked about with some sort of glue thing. And I and the one thing that that kind of like just brought to like my attention though is about like uh, with Tears of the Kingdom because you know like how like all that gloom and like calamity that was like going on uh, within Tears of the Kingdom and you don't really want to be able to touch all that type of stuff. It seems like that's going to kind of be happening here within this game as well too. So 
Hmm, that's very interesting around with all that. But anyways, I think we're going to go ahead and end things off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we'll be doing some more stuff here in Yokai Watch 4 for right now. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, we will be jumping on into our time with some more of the Okami HD. So hope you guys do go and watch that on, uh, well as well too. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. And of course, peace.